or this is an animation I created and I want to add some music to it. So I'm going to go here to the apps, AI powered, and then we're going to look for, let's just type in music here in the search bar and it'll make it a little quicker. So I'm going to go ahead and click on AI music. This one's really great because it has lots of styles and moods you can choose from. Lounge, house, happy, jazz. So I'm going to pick happy for this one. You can refine the parameters. So I'm going to make it semi-fast. Rhythmic, very bright. This isn't a dark design. We're going to make it in the middle for stable and varied. And let's see how long my design is. 25 seconds. So we can make the music 25 seconds long to match the presentation animation here. So we're going to go ahead and click Compose. And then you'll be able to adjust the settings up on the top. If you don't like it, you can dump it into the trash can. And you can see here, you can drag it across. We're going to drag it over to the left and it should cover just about all of the animation presentation. So if you only want it on the third slide and over, you can drag and drop this audio file here wherever you want it. So let's go ahead and click play and see how it sounds. That is pretty awesome. But I'm going to go ahead and delete that. You can hit the delete button or take it to the trash can. But let's go ahead and play with it a little more and see what else we can have. So I'm going to do lounge. Let's make it more relaxed, slow. We're going to put it in the middle for the dark and bright area and make it more stable. I just want to see how the mood of the presentation changes with this music. So we're going to make it longer. We're going to drag it to fit the whole entire animation. Now let's check it out. Really different. So imagine doing ads with animations and music and how you can change the tone depending on your ideal avatar for YouTube, for Facebook ads, for Facebook posts. Let's go ahead and do something a little different. Let's pick groovy without happy and make it fast and make it varied this time. We're going to dump this blue track into the trash, maybe. Or you can click the three buttons here, the three dots on the right hand side of the track to delete it. Let's go ahead and compose one more and see which one we like the best. I do like it that it has different colors, so we could layer tracks if we wanted it as well, I believe. Let's go ahead and play this. So now I'm going to do one more and see if we can layer these up. We're going to do a house. We're going to leave those all the same and we're going to delete groovy. Let's go ahead and compose that next layer. So if you want to have different tracks on top of each other or if you'd like to change tracks, it's super easy inside Canva. And the best part is it's free and it's royalty free. So this means you can use these tracks all over the place. <laughs> You can pick your vibe. Let's go ahead and delete this track and listen to it just with the new track, with the house music. You can also choose the volume, so we can make this really quiet. You can make it really loud. Depending on the feel that you want to go for. 
Okay, and one other thing I wanna show you up here in the top, you can also adjust the timing this way. You can adjust the position. We don't need to do that. The layers are for the images. Okay, so I'm gonna click on the track down here. And another thing we can do is a beat sync and the pages and elements will automatically be timed to the music. So when the letters or the images pop, that's probably gonna be when the beat kicks in. Let's check this out now, see if it's even better. Okay. 